Good morning, everybody. Da jia zao. It's Michael here again as your favorite friendly neighborhood food tour guide. Today, I am very, very sleepy. I had such a hard time waking up, so we definitely need some caffeine in my body right now. But luckily, I've got a fresh pack of ground coffee from the the Formosa coffee and they were nice enough to share this uh, premium roast single origin 100% Arabica bean uh, grounds with me. So let's have some coffee together and help me wake up or help you wake up too. We're gonna open this fresh pack. We all know that there are some very, very famous coffee producing countries around the world, usually in tropical climates or in what's something called the bean belt between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. And these countries are like Brazil or Colombia, um, Costa Rica, India, um, Vietnam or Ethiopia. Are Ethiopia? <laughs> this is how not awake I am. Ethiopia are really famous for their coffee, but little do people know that Taiwan also makes extremely, extremely good, high quality coffee as well. It's just Taiwan is a tiny little island, um, so it does not really mass produce its coffee, uh, but it's got rich soil, it's got the tropical climate, it's got pristine waters, it's got all of the components to make an excellent coffee bean. So I just opened this up. Oh, it smells so good. I'm halfway to being awake already. So let's make some coffee. Um, the supposed Golden ratio for a coffee is uh, coffee to water is 1 to 13. It's kind of funky special number, but that is what has been recommended to me. So 1 to 13, one tablespoon uh, of coffee grinds to 13 tablespoons of water. And um, it's kind of hard to, I mean, who's going to do 13 tablespoons of water, right? But 13 tablespoons is about about 6.5 ounces, which is just a little bit less than a cup, which is perfect. That's all I need to wake up in the morning. So uh, I've got a Chemex right here with the coffee filter on top. We are going to do um, one tablespoon of this. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so, so good. This is going in. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, let's see if I can eye measure 6.5 ounces of hot water, which by the way, um, the optimal temperature of brewing coffee supposedly is also between 185 degrees Fahrenheit to 194 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, the Formosa coffee recommends 194 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a very specific number and kind of kind of um, not that easy to, to, to get. But if you have one of the cool kettle contraptions that my friends Ron and Christina have, you can actually set the temperature on the machine to make it 194 degrees. How cool is that? Uh, this is going in. Do you want the scale? That's okay. Oh, uh... Then you put that on top of the scale. And then I put this on top of the scale. Yeah. If you want to measure the liquid. <laughs> Let's... Oh, I see. Producer Christina is so smart. This is... Okay. Let's use a scale to measure 6.5 ounces, right? So the Chemex is here, and it's about 17 or just tear it to zero and I don't have to do math. Let's wake up together. Woohoo! Okay, so now we're gonna add 6.5 ounces of hot water at 194 degrees. Ooh, this is so fun. Mm. 
gonna let it sit a little bit. This is like like going to one of the uh, local boutique coffee shops where you watch them brew coffee and you don't really know what they're doing, uh, and you just trust them. But now I'm I'm learning so much um, from the Formosa coffee and from my time actually studying coffee in grad school when I made a uh, business plan when I went to uh, Cornell, Cornell. <laughs> Cornell Hotel School. Wow, wow, morning. Woo, wake up, wake up. Okay, let, let it pipe down a little bit and then we'll pour some more. Agua caliente. Ro shui. Shou zui into this. 6.5 ounces. Where it looks like we're at 6 ounces. Woo, 6.2. 6.2. Oh, that's. <laughs> we're a little bit over 6.5 ounces, so we're good on that. And now we can watch the coffee brew in Canex. Wow! Hey, we're doing this live. This is pretty cool. This is live? I mean, not like live, but I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it. Like, not like prepared beforehand, right? <laughs> Not like we're live on Instagram or anything, just... All right, so this is what we're gonna have this morning. And lucky for me, uh, what I have prepared <laughs> beforehand are some pastries because we can't just have coffee in the morning, right? We've gotta have some, some toast or in this case, whoa, ho, 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 ho. look at this golden spread of of pastriness. Uh, croissants are my favorite, so we're definitely having some croissants here. And we've got this cool Danish with chocolate chips, all thanks to JJ Bakery, of course, another one of my local favorite Taiwanese bakeries. Um, we did a coffee, Guatemalan coffee with Taiwanese pastries in our last episode. But what about Taiwanese coffee with Taiwanese pastries? How cool, right? While the coffee is finishing up, let's take a bite. Not only do I get caffeine in the morning, let's have some sugar too. <laughs> mm. If you guys didn't know, Americans often reach for caffeine. It's our habit of reaching for caffeine in the morning to wake up. But a lot of the times in Asia, and especially in Taiwan, coffee is not the go-to beverage when you wake up in the morning. Coffee is usually had in the afternoon for a little pick-me-up, you know, after lunch. A lot of Taiwanese people like to go out with their friends and family and co-workers especially to get coffee in the afternoon there's even a brand um i believe it's from hong kong it's called like 2 p.m coffee or 3 p.m coffee because that is that's the time for coffee um in asia but so let's pretend that it is no longer morning and it's the afternoon in taiwan most likely you're not going to be having a danish or a croissant with your coffee you're probably going to be having some sweets and some desserts right so mm, chocolate chip all right on the other side of this lovely platter that producer christina has prepared we've got jj bakery cream puffs and their oh this is lovely their hokkaido chiffon this one we've got mochi cake this is called shui mei niang at jj bakery it is cake in the middle wrapped with mochi and what do you smell you smell chicken it's not chicken <laughs> coffee and some cranberry rice krispie treats so we're gonna have this and i think i think this is done does this look done to you guys Producer Christina, does this look done? Done? Okay, cool. So then, as I am not an expert coffee maker, this tells you anybody can do this. Put this off. 
And Mariah Carey is going to join us for coffee this morning with our Formosa, V Formosa coffee, which is really cool. The beans are actually from Taiwan, which is rare to find in America, but super cool that we can get it from the Formosa coffee now. Yeah, I would say 6.5 ounces, a little bit less than the cup, a little bit under the top. And <clears throat> first sip, this is when I'm gonna wake up, hopefully. Oh, first it, it smells lovely. Like it just, I would say it's not super strong pretty mild and very smooth. There's not too much of that um, acidity or burn taste that you might get from some other places that do coffee. This is really nice. Let's see what the package actually says. So this is single origin, 100% Arabica, uh, grown at altitudes between 3,500 and 4,000 feet. Yep, in high altitudes medium roast, medium grind, natural processing, um, and roasted less than two weeks ago because we want to keep it fresh, right? So I think it actually says, here we go, on the back of the packaging, once ground, coffee beans start to lose their optimal taste and aroma within two weeks. We work hard to make sure our coffee is always freshly roasted within 24 hours of packaging and shipping. This maximizes shelf life so you can enjoy the freshest cup of coffee. Thank you, the Formosa coffee for my freshest cup of coffee this morning and I can start my day. Um, people often ask, or people have different ways of enjoying coffee, whether it's adding sugar or adding cream or milk or half and half in it. but. Uh, for this type of coffee, especially the beans from Taiwan, it's so uh, smooth that you can have this black. This really doesn't need any sugar or any cream or any milk, whether soy or oat <laughs> or almond. This is wonderful. This is very, very lovely. Hopefully you guys get a chance to try some Taiwanese coffee um, because it, you know there's abundant amount of Guatemalan and Costa Rican and Vietnamese and Indonesian especially from Java, Sumatra uh, and of course Brazil is the biggest producer of coffee in the world or even Hawaiian co Kona coffee right um, but it'd be really cool if you guys get a chance to try Taiwanese coffee from the Formosa coffee and while that happens, I'm going to continue enjoying some sweet treats. We'll see about this mochi cake. Oh, this is, this is what that looks like. It is cake in the middle with strawberries and cream wrapped with a mochi. All right. Breakfast of champions, right? Thank you, the Formosa Coffee. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Have a great start to your week. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've ever had Taiwanese coffee before. <laughs>